Hey, what's up, YouTube? This is uh, DJ DVP, uh, the creator of Moral Rich Media here, and I'm here doing a how-to in HD, a follow-up video to my um, to my how to remove a broken headphone jack from your MacBook Pro or any computer, for the most part, that doesn't have a plastic headphone jack. I'm actually I don't have um, I, I don't have Mac MacBook Pro or uh, uh, another laptop that um, I can do this on, so I'm going to be doing a little demonstration. It's a stage demo uh, on my Palm Pre. So I'm going to make it quick for the most part. Um, what you'll need to do this, if you're going to try to use a soldering iron to remove the wire, you're going to need a soldering station, which is here. I actually have a Hacko. Let me see if I can. Yeah, Hacko. I've had it for a long time. It serves me well. I have that, and of course you have the iron, and this is what's really important. Let me see if I can get a nice bit. See how it's got such a nice, uh, it's a small tip. I'm trying to stay in focus here. You need a, uh, uh, soldering iron tip, the small, nice small tip. Uh, of course the sponge is wet. You need a piece of solid wire. This is, this is a piece of copper wire, and it's actually solid. It's not stranded. Um, some wire, when you look into it, it'll be stranded, and you can, you know, it's copper strands, but this is a solid piece, preferably. I mean, I guess you could do it with stranded, but it might be harder. So as you can see right here, this is the actual piece that I removed from the MacBook Pro so long ago. Um, so it's, a, it's just a, a um, broken piece of headphone and a piece of copper wire, and it's soldered on there. You can, you can kind of see, I'm trying to, between two cameras, you can see the solder joint. So what we're going to do... We're going to plug it in, in my palm pretty light right there, and I'm going to desolder it so that it comes apart. I'm trying to be careful not to get, oops, not to get uh, the soldering iron all over the plastic, because it will melt the plastic. All right, so here's to uh, lay down the steps. So the first thing you'd want to do is take your soldering iron and you want to get in there really good. You careful not to touch all over the sides and stuff of the um, the headphone jack. You want to get in there and you want to try to. Well, I, actually, I backed up. I should back up. You need to clean. If you don't, you need to have a clean break. You need to have it. Basically, you need to have the metal exposed uh, on the headphone jack in order to get solder on there. So what you would do? I'm hurrying because my camera is going to uh, cut off a little bit. You want to stick the tip of the, the soldering iron in the hole, mindful not to touch any uh, the sides best you can. And then you're going to also take a bit of solder. Now, I didn't mention this earlier, but this is a rosin core solder. You get it at, at um, Radio Shack or anywhere. Stick it in there. Oops. You want to stick it in there. And you want to get solder on the back side of the headphone jack. All right, the next thing you want to do, you want to take your um, piece of wire and you want to tin the, tin the end of it, tin, T-I-N. You want to tin the end of it. So basically what you're doing, and normally I would have another holder instead of using these out, trying to use this, whatchamacallit. But you want to, you want to touch the, your solder iron to the tip of your copper Oops, I'm trying to do this with my hand. And you want to get it hot enough and then allow solder to, to adhere, adhere to the end of it. So I don't know if you can see that very well or not. So basically the end will be uh, nice and shiny. So now, let's see if we can do this final step. You want to basically stick this in the hole, put solder on the end of your soldering iron. Probably you always clean it off. And like I said, I'm kind of rushing. But um, you want to add some fresh solder to the end of your soldering iron. Stick this in the hole. Oops. I'm trying to hold it with this so I don't burn myself. Now the trick to it is you got to get a good joint. So you stick it in there. 
Oh, I got it. It wasn't very easy, but I did manage to get it. But the trick to it is, like I said, you have to you have to get yourself a good joint. You have to be patient because it, it can easily you you know melt the sides and all that good stuff if you're not careful. But you just want to get a good joint from the from the back. I don't know if I can see if I can focus in on that real good. See it? Get you a nice good joint and gently tug. If you got a good joint, uh, it won't come a loose when you when you gently pull on it but if it's a um, if it's a bad joint it's gonna snap and you'll have to do it again so you know this was a kinda it was kinda rushed but this is um show you the basic steps of how to do it um, and basic things what I have you need some solid wires gonna be good for you uh, you first of all you need to assess and make sure that you can actually get your your uh, soldering iron into the hole because if it, if it's too deep and it's and it's plasticky, there's really a and, you know, and your tip isn't big enough. There's a real good chance you're gonna burn up some stuff, um, and it may not be worth worth the damage it's gonna cause. But if you got a if you got a good tip and you can get it down into the hole, you wanna you wanna you wanna first you wanna get it down into the hole. Put some solder on the back side of the jack. You might have to clean you might have to clean or remove these little plastic rings. It's kind of hard to see here again, but there's some plastic rings right there. See that plastic ring? If it's broken, then there's a good chance that the plastic ring it might have broken at one of those rings. So you need to try to take a sharp object, a sharpie, a, a, not a sharpie, a exacto blade, or a pen or something, and see if you can scrape that off. So you have the back of the jack exposed, and then try to get some solder on there. And then the next thing you're trying to do is adhere the two. So I hope this helps a little bit, guys. This has been a how-to in HD, and uh, just shoot me some comments or questions in the in the description or below, and um, we'll go from there. All right.